Hi, so I want to talk about verifiers, which is one of the most important things in uh, complexity theory when we talk about non-deterministic languages of a certain type. So what a verifier is, is basically a way to verify whether some input is correct. So um, if you know what a clique is, uh, you can skip uh, ahead a little bit, but let's say that I have a graph right here. Let's say I have this one, and let's make it a little bit more complicated. So let's say we have this. So a clique is, or a clique if you prefer, is a set of vertices that has every connection present uh, among those vertices. So a K clique is a set of K vertices, K verts, uh, with all, with all K choose two uh, edges present among them. So the question is like, if we have a graph like this one here, what kinds of cliques does it have? And I can, you can pretty easily see that there is a three clique right here, essentially a triangle because we have three vertices and all three edges are present between them. There are no more possible. And you may wonder, okay, uh, what if the, are there a, are, is there a four clique somewhere? And it's pretty easy to see that there is no four clique in this thing. If there was this edge right here from these two, then yeah, uh, there would be a four clique, but there isn't one here. So you can pretty easily see, yeah, we can verify that pretty easily. But what if you had like a really complicated graph and K is pretty big, it's like, let's say 20, then that would be a lot of work to be able to verify um, even a particular example, much less find a, a 20 clique in the entire thing. So verifiers are a way of providing some additional info in order to make this verification process of whether something, let's say a clique is in here, make that process a lot easier. So formally, it's an algorithm. So a verifier is an al, let's say it's a verifier for a language L. And what that is saying is that I provide additional info to you and you can verify whether an example string is in this language. So let's say that we want to determine if some string X is in the language or, or not want, but like want to determine. And we don't know whether it's in there or not. So a verifier is an algorithm. So this thing equals an algorithm. Let's call it, uh, let's call it A, A for algorithm. And what the algorithm takes is two inputs. Whereas any particular algorithm for L would obviously only take one input, say X, and then determine whether it's an L. But here, the algorithm is gonna take two inputs. So the two inputs are gonna be uh, X and a special type of input called C. So the X is the same thing as over here, whatever the input would have been for an algorithm for L. But this C is an additional thing. And um, what we have here is that uh, there's some correspondence between what the algorithm does and what the language is. So the language is going to be all the strings uh, X such that there exists a C such that A, the algorithm A over here accepts uh, uh, x comma c. Okay, so this notation over here is just put, uh, a way of encoding the two strings as a string so that we can feed it to the algorithm, but that's less of an issue. Here what we're saying is that the language can also be defined in a different way, which is the set of all strings x such that there is this magic string c where the algorithm accepts the two together. So that may seem a little weird, but and it was when I first learned this, but the C is something called a certificate. 
So the algorithm is uh, given this additional info, this certificate, which provides the extra information, and then uh, along with the original input, figures out whether or not the certificate, uh, whether or not X belongs to L. That, that's the purpose of A, given the additional info C. So in some sense, the C could actually make the problem easier to solve because maybe I don't have to search so much. I can use this additional bit of info and say, oh, you should search here, not over here. And it could be a lot easier that way. So let's do an example. So I'm going to define the uh, language k clique. I'm going to do it kc. Um, so I don't have to write it over and over and over. So here it's going to be all graphs. And so remember angle brackets means encoding it as a string, but that's less of an issue. So it's the graphs such that g has a k clique. And we know what k clique is from before. Okay. So then what was it, what would a certificate be? So what additional info can I provide to you in order to make this easier? Well, the naive approach, so the naive thing to do is to search uh, all n choose k subsets of, of uh, vertices. So if n is the number of vertices, I just look at every single subset of size k and check if that's a k-clique. No, check this one. No, check this one. Yes, then we know it is a k-clique. But the faster way, so to speak, is if we let C, the certificate, be a set of k vertices. So if I provide to you k vertices, then you can determine uh, is this certificate valid? Does this help me solve the problem? And the algorithm, so to speak, so this is the algorithm A right here. What it does is check, so it checks all k choose two uh, edges if present. So it doesn't have, and, and we had to do that over here also, so I forgot to mention it here, but we have to make sure that each one of the subsets is valid. Here, we only have to choose this one subset because the certificate is saying, verify it for this particular subset. And you don't have to worry about any other subset, just work, you, work with this one. And that's pretty easy to do because you just check only those internal edges. So this uh, n to the k is roughly n to the k work so if k can go off to infinity or like be, be a very large number, then this can be a lot of work to do. Whereas k is at most n because uh, at most you can have a uh, an n clique where there are n vertices. You can't have more than that. So this thing uh, is at, oops, I meant to do that. This is at most n squared work. So if k becomes a thousand, that is a lot more work than n squared. So if we have a, a, a certificate C or can produce one in some way, then that makes the checking of this a lot easier. And we can determine whether G has a k clique really quickly because we can just uh, have the certificate tell us, oh yeah, search right here and then verify it for that subset. Don't worry about any other subsets. So certificates and verifiers are extremely important. The question is, how do we actually make a verifier and a certificate? And the question, the real answer is, we don't really know, but we, um, and we believe that it is not possible to do so really quickly, but we'll get into all that stuff pretty soon. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave comments about verifiers and uh, certificates down into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.